Yeah, hi. Alrighty, folks, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your Smackdown Live review. Late night. Don't give a fuck. Sorry, I'm not really standing and I'm not gonna do a big rant, but like, is it really random? Worth it that you know, Smackdown should be like the same shit. There's no hope for Smackdown. Um, yeah, I wasn't really injured. Uh, you know, I don't know, fuck it. You know, I'll fucking say, you know what? I, in a way, yes, it's one hour. I know it's like cliche thing that the sparky thing that people say Smackdown is better because it's one hour less and bullshit. In a way, I don't know, it was less bullshit tonight. You got more people that I enjoy on the show, so it's whatever, so... Eh. Smackdown is like, whatever. I probably enjoy it more than Raw, if anything, because Raw was just pretty much more shit. And plus, no star power at all in Smackdown the way, so... That's what I'm gonna say. You had more people uh, uh, that were good on Smackdown, so... Anyways, grab you some Wang Lancey song, me just stuff, right? Shoot, oh shoot, ooh, look at that fucking foam action. Mm -hmm. Nice and nice and foam. Hmm. Good stuff, motherfuckers. Gonna get your fucking bitch to be black cats make them go, oh shit, oh shit. Um like even though SmackDown was really the worst as whatever, or in a way, this week it was better than raw. Like I know that's a pretty sparky thing to do. It's not just like fucking it was like an hour or less, it's like I guess I was less irritated. By Raw, uh, by SmackDown, then Raw this week, so that's why I'm saying that you know. E. Um, but it wasn't like the best SmackDown. It wasn't really good, you know. It just like, oh, it was better. Okay. Let's so put around. I don't really care. But if you think about, honestly, like it's still like plain. It's still lame and nerdy and crappy garbage. That's all. That's what SmackDown was. It's still lame. Pretty boring, still, you know. The show starts with Kevin Owens. So it's like. Uh, like, I was here, I the last year was, I said, but if not five years ago today, I was I signed my contract. I'm happy to be here. Like, yeah, he's saying he's happy to be here. I'm just happy to be here. My family is here. They're not queer. I'm here. I'm here. I'm never queer. And, uh, I'm here to bring more change. And, uh, yeah, I'm happy to be here. I'm in a good guy now. That's why I'm saying I'm happy to be here. Like, Sammy Zayn. I'm happy to be here, yeah, I'm not, I'm a queer too, man, probably, you know, I don't know if I'm queer, but I probably am queer, I'm just queer with my family, man, yeah, man, I'm queer, I'm quite Canadian, eh, mm-mm, uh, and then fucking, you know, they go, oh, I can't wait to be in the King of Ring, I'm gonna be, in, I want to win the King of Ring, just like my fucking heroes, cause I'm, I think I'm here, bring more change, I want to bring, I want to be a hero like uh, Bret Hart, I want her, I got a big heart, I got a big heart, <laughs> Uh, you know, <laughs> I want to be a like Edge and a uh, so bold and bold and all and all. Like, yeah, so basically, his thing is that he's so happy to be here, he just want to live out his dream. He, he's there to be living out his dream like a fucking fan. A uh, fan dreams to come true, I love my fans. That's the problem with wrestlers nowadays. They're not badasses, they're just wrestlers that live in their fucking dreams. That they're dreamed to be a wrestler and shit. Like, there's nothing wrong. Living your dream, you yeah, being a fucking ra like, wrestler, right? But the thing is, you gotta make it, like, look like a fucking wrestler and act like a wrestler. That shit's, like, more of a fucking, you know, not kayfabe shit. You gotta be fucking legit. You gotta be a real wrestler. With charisma shit, not to, like, you like, you want, you want to fight and shit. This is just fucking, like, gay. I'm sorry, it is. You know, it ruins wrestlers. Bro, how many fucking times over the fucking years, these past years, like, Oh, I just wanted to be a wrestler when I grew up. I'm happy, I'm happy to be here. I, I, I want to be, uh, I'm living in my dream, man. All this fucking shit. It's all these fucking wrestlers now. They're just about living their fucking dreams and shit. Follow your dreams and all this fucking crap. Like, shut up. We've been through this bullshit before. And that's what happens when you have all these indie guys. That's just them. They're just living the fucking dreams. I'm just happy to be here. I'm in the main roster. I'm happy to be here. We're hard. We're hard. Let's shut up. And then the same man comes out and says, like, fucking uh, okay, KO cheated, defeat him, and says, no li low life, whatever the fuck. And then Shane finds fucking KO for, for attacking and lies. And someone's like, steel cage. Not steel cage. Steel chair. For $100,000. <coughs> <coughs> and then fucking Kevin was complaints. He goes to fucking Kevin. He goes to Shane right after the commercial. Says like, like, oh, you can't do this, Shane. Please don't do this. 
And then he fucking proceeds to throw a tantrum. This is our next Stone Cold, ladies and gentlemen. A fucking fat dude that fucking throws tantrums like a fat baby is. After all, he does have a fucking bat, fat baby face, so you know, there's whatever. The first match, uh, fucking Mrs. fucking Jeffrey, uh, Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> first match, Jeffrey Epstein, ladies and gentlemen, is fucking, she, she is not dead, or yeah, she, he's a she now. Uh, his sex chain is fucking now Charlotte Fair, so Jeffrey Epstein, ladies and gentlemen, who runs Pedophile Island, uh, defeated Ember Moon. I guess that's what happens when you're not, you're not fuckable, you know, you're not gonna be in Pedophile Island. Well, not just that, you're not gonna be a fucking, you're not, you know, it's not just stuff more fucking, you know? So yeah, Jeffrey Epstein, uh, fucking, such a, probably such a assaulted, or, I don't know, she just fucking just, just destroyed, uh, fucking, not just fucking, raped, but perhaps fucking goddamn, goddamn domestic violence motherfucker. It's not good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Fucking Ember Moon, you know, a baboon herself, a baboon from fucking fucking little kids to goddamn baboons. My God, Jeffrey Epstein is getting getting at again, ladies and gentlemen. It's not good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Let me get Dan Brown, Big Red, Big Red, ah, uh, Big Red Rowling addresses Roman Reigns' allegations of bullshit and did say, and then fucking called Buddy Murphy a liar, whatever the fuck. I also black is waiting for a next challenge. Whatever the fuck, no one cares. Um, then Roman Reigns defeats Buddy Murphy. People are pretending this match is like great and also great showing Buddy Murphy. If anything, this is retarded. Okay, listen. You know, there's nothing like. But here's the problem with this. Like, this is like the first. This is guy's first fucking match on the fucking main show, and apparently he has a competitive match. How does that? That makes Roman Reigns look fucking weak. It does. This guy's the main event, a former WWE champion, and he almost like he had a competitive match with a fucking jobber, you know, two five live jobber especially. The guy who was his first match. This match should have been a squash match. People like to say, "Oh, I'm glad like like all these fucking sparks pretend this is a great match." Like, yeah, I'm shocked they're saying a great match for Reigns and shit. But the thing is, in reality, it should not have been this great competitive match. It's been a squash match because again, it makes Reigns look weak. And for God's sake, this is the first guy's match. Maybe down the line, if you fucking are trying to push this guy uh, with Buddy Murphy as a fucking goddamn future star, then sure, in down the line, like, when he's like a fucking... But the thing is, this is guy's first fucking match on the main roster. He's supposed to not fucking have a competitive match with a fucking champion. That's fucking retarded. And honestly, who cares about Buddy Murphy? Who really cares? This guy, his name is Buddy Murphy, for fuck's sakes. So it makes Ray's look weak and stupid. And it just retarded having a fucking 205 live job or fucking on roster and whatever fuck. Uh, fuck what else? The third, the third match, ladies and gentlemen. Samojo defeats fucking Kevin Owens with some help of Elias. I'm guessing Kevin Owens, uh, fucking Samojo is not fucking a face. He's just a heel. Wow. Uh, yeah, fucking that happened. And then fucking Kevin Owens proceeded to throw a tantrum, I believe. We just here, but I'm just happy to be here. I'm here to bring more change, hopefully. Mm. So uh, Kevin, Danny Bryan and Ra at the Big Red Island confront fucking Buddy Murphy. No one fucking cares. Uh, fucking, yeah, Buddy Murphy admits that he lied and says, like, fucking he lied, blah, 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 and then gets attacked because he got attacked by fucking Rowan and Bryan. And then the main event, Kofi, oh, not, not the main event, before the main event, Kevin, Kevin, Kyle Rainey, or in that, uh, Fucking Kofi Kingston, they have some fucking shitty confrontation about SummerSlam and crap, and then they yeah, they just end up like, turning into a sick man tag bullshit. No one fucking cares. In our main event, Ray Orton the Revival defeated uh, New Day. No one cares. And then everybody gets an arc out of nowhere except the Revival, which would have been fucking nice, but uh, whatever. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about this shit. I can't know that, everybody. And then uh, fucking main event segment before the show ended. The, uh, Roman Reigns goes to Daniel Bryan, Big Red, and then fucking they they said, oh, they have a culprit in a review next week. Oh yeah, we got lost next week. My man, Raw. Now we're on Friday Night SmackDown. We're on SmackDown. We'll wait for Tuesday night. Whatever, fuck. So yeah, we're just find out who tells behind fucking Brian of uh, behind fucking the attacks of Reigns. Okay. Actually, you know, I take back what I said. This SmackDown was lame. So I'm sorry, but if you if you compare, yeah, it was not like 
Oh, what wins the show? But like it's slightly, it would just spike the slight, like just only slightly better than Raw because of how less garbage. That's that's all, ladies and gentlemen. That's literally all because of less fucking garbage. Because it was just an hour less. Like, of course it'll be better because it's like a fucking hour less. But for God's sake, it was still fucking boring, lame, retarded, and gay. That's what it was. So I wasn't really entertained. If it's a, if you think this is entertaining for some for pseudo good match, we're just not really like whatever. I don't care. In a way, you would think of like in a way, if you think about it, yes, the Roman Reigns Bunny Murphy match, yes, it had a kind of story behind it, maybe. But the thing is, like, it's it's unbelievable the match fucking let went on for that long, and for God's sake, Reigns fucking almost losing to fucking Bunny Murphy, up to a five life jobber. You know, it makes no sense, especially if it's first night. It makes no sense. That's literally fucking Fergal bullshit retardation, you know? Um, so yeah, um, that happened, and the entire SmackDown was game, lame, and retarded. I don't give a fuck, boring. Um, yeah. Fuck SmackDown Live. Fuck, you know what? Fuck it, both shows suck, too. That's why I'm just keeping it real, motherfuckers. Gotta be Melissa, gotta be Gabs, gotta be Black Catch a fucking bitch, motherfucker. Catch your dreams, don't like this. I'm like, you're still cheating, motherfuckers. Alright, Joe, don't give a fuck. Till next time. Like, sure, you had the storyline with Reigns and Dan Bryan and Rowan, but the thing is, like, it should have just been Ramel as Bryan, but uh, whatever. Um, if I have a conspiracy theory, I think they're like, ah, that's gonna be Raw, and like, Hyper. I don't know, Harper, or, oh, it was all me all along, it was Dan, or Dan Brown reviews all him along and shit, whatever the fuck, I don't know, um, what else, uh, yeah, I don't even know what else to really say, Smack Lime is lame too, it's just what it is, it's pretty boring, yeah, you got like one thing, but it could have been better, the storyline could have been way better, you know, or more edgier, people say, oh, it's already edgy, it's not really that edgy, it could have been actually a little better, but overall, besides that shit, this fact that was pretty lean. So that's just how it is. All right. But yeah. Till next time. Peace. Yeah. Bye.